Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Okay, okay, you hear that? Hey, lady, you got the wrong show. This ain't Shakespeare. This is the Cap Guy show, starring the Cap Guy over here and me, JT. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? All right. Did he say it? Hey, lady. I'm Romeo. <laughs> You're not Romeo. Yeah. And this is Romeo even looking for eBay sales. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah, something like that anyway. Well, we just can't think on our feet, can we? You're sitting down. Uh, good morning, Cap Guy. Good morning, JT. Romeo, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am kind of debonair. Debonair, suave, suave, Rico. Yeah, 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 ladies. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, some good sales days. You went yard selling in Perkins, Oklahoma, and now you're going to do three days of sales as quickly as you can. Pew, pew, pew. All right, all right. Well, I ain't got to do a show in a while. I got to get my peers in there. Yeah, uh, man. I think I'm going to go serenade some ladies. What do you think? You are? You're going you gonna to really be the real Romeo? Yeah, I'm going to go find my Juliet. <laughs> I, somehow I can't see uh, Shakespeare and Oki. Where art thou, Juliet? Come hither. Come hither to the farm. <laughs> we'll do a little square dancing. I'll show you the English what you're missing. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I'll show the English what they are missing on the farm in Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, all right, Cap Guy, let's get on with the show. It's going to be two weeks already. See you later, folks. <clears throat> yeah, we do Shakespeare on the Cap Guy show, too. Can't get JT to lay still. Late Jay Lee T. Man. I don't want him falling down on his head. Yeah, yeah, two great sales days, Friday and Saturday. Sunday was still good. Sales, sales, profits, profit, but didn't hit my goal, but close. And um, I'm going to get into those. The first part of the video will be what I started uh, on Friday when I had some sales. And then I'll finish it on the screen. And then I'll do Saturday and Sunday on the screen. And we'll be done. We'll be done. But keep in mind, I'm trying to show you the diversity of the goods. I'm trying to kind of teach you where I'm finding this stuff and not that everything's going to be the same where you go, but, um, on the Perkins thing, I've got everything. I listed 20 items yesterday, the cars thing, and I'm going to show those to you. There were 18 of them and you kind of get an idea. I paid, it was, they wanted $3 a piece for these things. And as you can see, they're new. But I went and comped every one of them yesterday, sold comps, and coming back to me. And I paid 25 for all of them, because it would have been, there's 18, it would have been $54 if I'd have paid three a piece. And uh, so I paid 24, 25, it's 336 in sold comps. Now again, that's what they're selling for. So if I get what they're selling for and don't send an offer or anything, it's 336 in sales. So not bad, it's just gonna be a little work and. I will list those today and a few other things that I didn't get listed out of that group. And then I've got a couple from Friday's uh, yard sales that I still got to finish or uh, some from the free stuff. But hey, the free stuff, uh, just to go over that, uh, it's a family member by marriage to Karen. Karen sold the house. They got to get rid of the stuff that's in the garage. All the furniture and everything's gone. So we went through it and we're going to have a yard sale with the stuff that was bigger or things that we didn't want to try to resell on eBay um, that would be kind of tedious or not real valuable. And uh, so she took some items, I took some items. So we have nothing in cost of goods. Basically, we're going to take the money and they're going to use that with the family when we go to Hawaii with my daughter and grandkids, my middle daughter, and uh, probably in June. 
and we're going to use that money. And we've already sold a little bit of it, and you're going to see that right now. Because we're going to get on with the show. Let's get on with the show, the Romeo. Here we go. Ah, here we go. All right, this is so far Friday's sales. I've already pulled them. I haven't shipped them yet, but I'm going to get these out. Um, I got five ET figures, sold them for $48. I had 20 invested. When I bought a bunch of these, a collection of these last summer, I paid too much. I paid 80 bucks for a whole bag full of them. I've sold some and I'm going to make money on the deal, but it ain't going to be a lot of money. So I'm going to go through these. I got 20 in this group of five and I've got another group of five and some other loose figures and I've already sold a bunch. Um, that's one of them. These are off 1982. ET, they're all ET in some different way. And I sold these for $48. And you can see they're all on card. That one's coming off the card, but it's still there. And I love the movie, of course. And uh, that's when the little girl dresses her up. ET. So I sold those for $48. You know, the $20 investment plus shipping along with this guy. This is the Arachnid Bug from Starship Troopers, 1997. I had somebody question me last night and sent me a million questions, and then he got a, somebody bought it out from under him because you snooze, you lose. And uh, he does work, I put batteries in him. He had a lot of Starship Troopers on that show. Or all of them did. There was a bunch of them. This again, this is 1997 by Galoob. Uh, had nothing invested. This is part of a garage cleanup that we did the other day, Karen and I, um, that we're allowed to take and sell, either yard sale or we took individually, and we took a bunch of stuff. I took like 28 items. She's got a bunch, and she's already sold something, and I just sold that for $49, and that's going with the ET figures, and they're both going to Canada. So that's a $97 sale with a $20 investment because I have nothing invested in the bug. He's free. The Yeti that I showed, um, I listed him, and I've already got 12 watchers, and I started it at $199. So I do not know where that's going to go, but I'm kind of excited to see where. Another one of these GameCube games from the $26 or 26 games, $20 deal. This is Splinter Cell. Pandora is tomorrow. It is disc and case no manual it has a little insert and i paid 77 cents and i sold this for 17.98 plus shipping and i will pop up my profit um these i got at goodwill it is dream marriage build a lasting joy-filled marriage and um there you go it's a seven disc set and each one is different ones the power of redemption and and uh there you go and i paid 202 at goodwill for this and i sold these for 49 dollars uh with free shipping and those will go media mail as well and i'll pop up my profit what else did i sell a dillard's fall fur hat i'll show you that on the screen paid a dollar for it sold it for 20 plus shipping and I got that on the Highway 75 sale last year. And then I also sold one other thing so far. And it is called a doeskin. You know, if I can get my hands on it. In a two hat. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Paid t about 10 cents. Or actually, I have 18 cents. I do all caps at 18 cents based on weight. And it doesn't weigh much of anything. It's, it's kind of a wool hat. And there's the tag on it in a two. And uh, $10 plus shipping. And uh, hey, I'll pop up my profit. So almost 200 bucks today, and it's still early in the day. So I'm going to keep it going. Okay, again, this is that uh, Dillard's Fall Fur hat. And uh, this is going out to California. And again, I paid a buck, sold it for 20 And I showed you my profit. All right, so we're coming out of the clip. We're going to continue on after the far fur hat. Um, I sold uh, this vintage 1983 Care Bear. This is Bedtime Bear, 13-inch plush. Got it at a state sale for 50 cents. 
and he needs a little bit of TLC here, but um, sold him for $15 uh, plus shipping. And yeah, that went priority and I'll pop up my profit. The next, I was talked into buying these. These are little tractor trailers, uh, die cast. It's just a trailer, not the tractor. It's called Trucks and Stuff. And it's an Oklahoma child advocacy thing, protect kids. And um, he gave me, I think I've got seven of them. And it was $5 for all of them. So I bought them. And uh, this is the first one I've sold. So I've got six left and I've had these for a year. Um, they are brand new, of course. 70 cents in, sold it for $9.99 plus me, uh, priority shipping. And I'll pop up my profit. The next are Coca-Cola sunglasses. If you've been watching my channel, you've seen them before. Um, I think I have five left. This person bought two on uh, Friday. So $18.99 uh, each. So I had $2 per invested. So uh, $4 total. And I sold those for $38.97 combined. Free shipping. And I'll pop up my good profit off that. The next is one of the free things from the garage that I was just talking about. Uh, of course, the alien bug was the other that you saw earlier. This is uh, from Capcom 1998 Resident Evil 2 Claire Redfield. It's a five-inch figure, and to, I had to Google it to figure out who it was. And nothing invested, sold it for $15.99 plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit on that. The next are Nike toddler shoes. I got these on the 100-mile yard sale, northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas last year. And uh, they're little, little Nike 3C. And uh, there you go. And uh, paid, um, I pay for those two, $2, sold them for $14.99 plus shipping. And I'll pop up my profit. The next is one of the Star Wars, one of the most valuable little figures. This is Pop Lou from Kenner, 1985. It's one of the last 17 of the, I guess, the Ewoks and that movie and um i had it for 108 i saw watchers and i wanted to keep moving this stuff so i sent out a 99 dollar offer they took it plus shipping and uh i had 25 in the valuation of this item because the 385 i spent i have to apply it so i took the higher end items and added more of the money to those so the profit's still good but it could have been better had the cost of goods been lower of course Duh. And uh, anyway, there's uh, there's that. I'll pop up my profit on that. So on the day, I had, um, this is Friday, 12 sales. Here's my cost of goods. Here's my total sales. And here's my fantastic profit. Now we're going to get into Saturday. I had 11 sales, beginning with this Oracle. Makes Lanou unbreakable. Uh, ball cap. I paid two thirty two at Goodwill for this. Sold this for twenty two seventy nine plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. The next is Def Leppard, one of my favorite bands. Hysteria, Historia. I'm sorry. Um, in your face in the round, and it's live, and it's a DVD, and I paid uh, two oh two at Goodwill for this. Sold it for eighteen ninety five plus. Uh, shipping and I did upgrade this to medium mail. I mean, to uh, first class, even though it was medium mail paid. I just wanted to get it to them quicker. And I look where they live in the country, and if they live on the west coast or east coast, I go ahead and upgrade it for you know twenty cents more, just as a customer service thing. Uh, it's not required, but I just do it. So uh, plus the cost of goods versus profit, where uh, what I sold it for was good. So there you go. Um, I'll pop up my profit. The next is, uh, when I saw this at Goodwill, I really was kind of curious about it. And I guess it's a paint. It's uh, Alco um, Noble, Asco Axo Noble Sickens t-shirt. It's got the Porsche on the front or, no, it's a Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever. Anyway, um, it's a really cool shirt. And uh, I decided to pick it up for $3.33 and I sold it for $17.70. I had it in the 15%, so I'll watch her, sent out a dollar off, and they bought, and here's my profit. The next are silver jeans. I bought these back in 2019. 
I'm getting out of the jean business. And uh, for the most part, 90% of the jean business. And I paid two bucks back then for these. Finally sold them for eleven forty eight as part of my 15% off sale, plus shipping and I'll pop up my profit. These are sand art bottles. There's 10 of them. I actually found that I had 12 left, so I threw in two free. Again, I wanted to get rid of them, and it's another customer service thing to make the customer happy. Uh, they didn't weigh much, but uh, I got these at the bins. Um, and, of course, being empty, they don't weigh a whole lot. So I had $0.65 cents invested, sold them for $8 plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. These I got at a, an estate sale. They're MBT Women's Walking Shoes. And they were in really good shape. But when I went to clean the around the edges, um, I was rubbing and somehow the uh, the foam here where I was rubbing, I thought it was a spot and it started rubbing into the side of the shoe. So I quit rubbing, basically. And uh, they're still in really good condition. I uh, paid $2 for them. I ended up selling them for $22 plus shipping. And I'll pop up my profit on those. The next is a Worth Mayhem Bat, 34. It's actually 26 D2E. Got this at Goodwill for $369 and sold it, as you can see here, for $59.99 plus shipping. Uh, again, 34 inches. If it stays under the 35 or below, you're good. If it goes to 36 or higher, make sure you cut those tubes down because if you go over that, hit that 36 mark, the price of shipping that bat will go up dramatically. Uh, the next thing I saw, I'll pop up my profit. The next is uh, I bought a bunch of these at Goodwill. They wanted a ton of money and we haggled back and forth and I started looking them up and realized because I'd never seen them. They're a Nintendo type game, but they're in Japanese and there is a system that you can buy and play these. I've only sold like two or three of them. Um, I paid uh, the valuation in these was $1.44 each. So this one I sold for $20, actually 19, I sent an offer. Um, not, not great desirable games, but still kind of cool from the eighties. This one's from 89, uh, Double Dragon Tech, Dra Double Dragon Technos. So 19 is what I sold it for off a dollar 44 investment plus shipping. I'll pop up my profit. This is a ribbed long sleeve shirt, Angel Fire, which is a ski resort. Um, I believe that's in New Mexico or Colorado. Um, 3XL, I paid $5.35, I believe, at Goodwill for this. Sold it for $18.99 plus shipping. That did go priority. It was pretty heavy. And uh, I'll pop up my profit. The next are Double O's, Men's Starbury Basketball Shoes. I didn't think Stefan Marbury shoes were worth anything. I know back when uh, some of those places like uh, Barry's, there was everything was five dollars. The mall had them. They weren't worth much, but uh, hey, they are. I paid uh, ten dollars and eighty-seven cents at a local thrift store for these. Sold them for forty-nine plus shipping, and I will pop up my profit. And the last thing I sold on Saturday, I've had this forever. It was a bad buy. I was just enthralled with the look of this jacket. It is an M and M's jacket, embroidered uh, front and back, and but is a youth. Uh, 13, 14, I paid up for this. The guy did storage cleanouts and he would not go down on it. And again, if it wasn't the theme or thinking that I'd get good money for it, I wouldn't have bought it. I paid $30 back then. Two years later, I sell it for $43.99 plus shipping. I won't make a lot, but I will make some profit. So on the day I had 11 sales. Here's my cost of goods. Another great sales day and another fantastic profit day. Okay, Sunday sales started off with these. I've actually had these for a while. I picked these up at a yard sale for $3. I didn't want to get rid of them, but they were size 10. And I wore a 12, so it wasn't going to fit me. But um, I've had offers, lower offers on these. I didn't list them for a long time. <clears throat> Again, because I really love Lacoste stuff. Just something about that alligator I like. But anyway, $3 in. I ended up selling them for $34.99. Those did ship at a padded flat rate. And here's my profit off of them. The next are two engineering patches from the USS Constellation aircraft carrier CV-64, which was my ship in the Navy, my second ship. And uh, I got about seven of these. I think I have five left. 
I had them for $17.75. This buyer bought two of them with free shipping. Um, those went first class, and I will, uh, I had a dollar a piece invested, by the way, and I'll pop up my profit. I bought two of these when the Goodwill in Mustang, Oklahoma opened a year ago, March. $2.82 a piece. I sold one a while back. This is Celine Dion Perfumes, Spring in Paris, 1.7 full ounce, new and sealed. I paid $2.82 at the time for each one of them, and I just sold the last one for $23.75. That'll go ground, and uh, I do have stickers that say do not put this on an airplane, um, and those are on it. Uh, plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. The next is a Rock Revival ball cap. It's a snapback. Famous for their jeans. Um, I found this where I got all the golf hats a few weeks ago for $2 a piece. It was the only non-golf hat in the bunch. And I sold this $2 investment for $25 plus shipping. And I will pop up my profit. Had nothing invested in this. I've been selling these slowly. I've got different patches from a few different universities. And they're brand new. I got them for nothing when I bought a bunch of ball caps from a guy. Uh, and... Uh, so I sold this on a best offer of $7, free shipping. That went in a regular U.S. stamped envelope, and um, I'll pop up my profit. The next is Xbox 360. Wow, I sold a video game. Ninja Gated 2, and um, I paid $1.70 for this at Goodwill on Old Man Discount Day a while back. Sold it for $11.99 plus shipping, and I'll pop up my profit. The next are Miss Me Jean Shorts, Women's 27s. And I'm almost totally out of Miss Me. I think I may have two or three things in Miss Me left. And um, I won't be buying them anymore unless they're really cheap. Uh, these I paid $10 for at a yard sale. Sold them for $27.20 as part of my 15% off sale. And uh, those, go, those also went in a flat rate. And I'll pop up my profit. And the last thing I sold late last night, Little Big Planet, another video game on uh, PlayStation 3, Game of the Year Edition. I had 202 invested. I sold it for $7.90 plus shipping. And I'll pop up my profit. And here's my sales. I had eight sales, actually nine sales, eight shipments. The patches were two. And um, here's my cost of goods. Here's my good sales day. And here's my profit. Not a goal, but real close. So I'll take it. And uh, I hope your sales are good. Cap Guy and JT are going to get out of here and take all those packages to the post office. And we hope that you have a fantastic day wherever you are. And please tune in again next time. We'll see you later. Cap Guy out.